Why is it not always a good idea to get back with an ex? My name is Coach Adrian, this is what I do. I help people everywhere around the world figure out a way to repair broken relationships or to find happiness in love. And despite the fact that my job is to help repair relationships because that is mostly what I do these days, I must tell you that it's not always a good idea, that you shouldn't always try to get back with your ex. Because sometimes they're not the right person for you. Or simply because sometimes you're coming out of toxic relationships. You are pursuing someone who constantly puts you down. You are pursuing someone who doesn't encourage you to follow your dreams. You're pursuing someone who's plain just nasty and who didn't even make you happy while you were together. If you are in this mindset, if you know that this person isn't right for you, but you feel like you're addicted to them and don't know why, reach out to me. Let's work together. I help people get back together, but I also help people move on. When good people are engaged in toxic relationships, when good people are unable to deal with their own emotional baggage linked to their childhood or to previous relationships, I help them overcome those barriers in order to help them meet their true soulmate, in order to help them be in a healthy, sustainable relationship with someone that will actually value them for who they are. So I'm not going to force you or encourage you to or even advise you to be with someone who is not right for you. And many people that I've coached have reached out to me and I've told them, look, it's not in your best interest to be with this person because they're quite frankly not right for you. And that's okay. If you are going through a painful breakup and you don't know where to start, you don't know if this is the right one for you or not, reach out to me as well. I'll help you. I'll give you that unbiased opinion that your friends and family simply cannot give you because they're too close to you, because they're too impacted by the relationship. And that goes both ways. Sometimes friends and family are telling you to move on, telling you that this person isn't right for you because they are hurt because they don't want to see you suffer, despite the fact that you can be in a perfectly healthy relationship with this person in the near future if you do the right things. And I'm confronted to these types of situations on a daily basis, so I know. Um, and the intentions of your friend and family are good, it's just that they don't want to see you suffer. It's just that they have their own emotional baggage that they need to deal with. Ultimately, I wanted to do a short video to tell you that it's not always the best thing to do. To pursue an ex but in many cases it is because you can be happy together if you are taught how to communicate properly if you are taught how to look at your relationship from your ex's perspective if you can really acknowledge what went wrong and if you have the proper structure and tools to evolve to overcome those negative actions behaviors and to transform them into positive habits that can enable love to flourish in your relationship. Don't hesitate to reach out to me. Comment below in this video and I'll tell you if you're in a toxic relationship or if you can indeed be with the person you love. And if you need extra support, you know where to find me on the private coaching page of withmyexagain.com. It would be my pleasure to work with you and to give you everything I got to maximize your chances of being with the person that you love so dearly. I wish you all the very best. Keep fighting the good fight. Keep fighting for what you believe in. And you will find happiness and love, one way or another. See you soon.